give a round of applause for Costco. Costco is the Yahoo Finance Company of the Year. Costco slightly missed on revenue, but they beat on EPS. Um, as you, everyone knows, Costco, the, the old seller giant, Costco is into um, confectionery, food items, uh, house, uh, household stuff, um, interiors, I mean, arrays of different things that you need regularly on a daily basis. Um, Costco is a value stock. I have Costco in my in my uh, portfolio. Um, Costco is saying that inflationary and supply chain issues has improved. Even though they miss on the revenue, they have to, the season is actually good. We have a look at the details of the um, their the earnings. But uh, for those of you who don't know Costco, we'll also have a look at Costco website. I won't uh, I won't ask you. Everyone already know Costco, but even if you know it already, some don't know it. So we have a look at the Costco website for more information, and also we have a look at the details of the earnings. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see which of the businesses. Even though we already know that uh, Costco, due to it, inflation that is coming down, uh, Costco is experiencing more in-store sale than online. And also for your information, Costco is one of those companies that. When, when businesses are battered left and right, you know, Costco is hardly shaking. It's a value stock, it's a good business. I've owned it for over the years on my portfolio. So let's have a look at the details of the, uh, the earnings. Costco sales up around 6.6%. .6%. It's currently trading around uh, 477.8 dollar. Uh, it's slightly down around 2 percent uh, due to the miss of the um, revenue. Um, the actual revenue is 54.44 billion, while the uh, estimated is uh, 54.74 billion. The EPS is a uh, three dollar seven cent, while the estimate is a uh, three dollar ten cent. The supply uh, supply chain issues and um, inflationary has improved. Um, by that, uh, if you have if you own a uh, Costco uh, shares in your um, portfolio, you might be wondering, is it a time to have more to my uh, portfolio or is it going to come down? Given that throughout this um, inflationary beer market and all that, Costco um, has remained relatively on a uh, bullish move. It, it has not really been affected like most other stocks. Yes, we are, we are all in uh, beer market, but not every stock is really affected like that. Costco is one of those stocks that, you know, check the likes of um, Johnson & Johnson, um, the likes of Procter & Gamble, you know, you will find out that they're not really uh, different from their all-time highs. Let's have a look at the Costco details. This is um, the official uh, website for um, Costco. As you can see, um, Costco has a lot of um, different items from the household stuffs, you know, uh, this is a deep fridge and uh, freezer, uh, household, uh, in fact, they are advertising Christmas stuff, as you can understand, we are a few days to Christmas, um, these are in-house, uh, in warehouse out buys, you know, these are um, confectionaries, you know, um, that's beef, uh, cookies, and etc. Uh, these are home furniture, necklaces, um, home cleaner, vacuum cleaner, gym stuff, bedroom, I mean, most of, I mean, they have a rare array of different stuff. You, you can even find computers there, TV, furniture. Um, I don't know what you cannot find in uh, Costco. You know, uh, maybe I should say what you can find in Costco simply does not exist. This is a mobile phone. I mean, I mean uh, there's Apple, Apple phone, luggages, shoes, uh, cycle, um, cyclers, um, accessories bicycle um same day two day delivery cold and frozen food as well you know so uh costco is just a store that um uh, you would you realize that people are in and out of it um that they, they you know they all sales and i mean all sales store does not mean that you cannot that uh, a retails um retailer cannot also shop there but it's uh costco wholesale but then for the purpose of this video i would just say that you should uh, take your time if you are not familiar with costco you can come up to their website see see what they are selling see area of their stuffs this will also give you 
confidence to know that you are investing i mean to see why we, uh, I, I classify we in uh, elite pro classify costco as a value stock you know um costco is one of those stocks as i said earlier come what come may you know um it it always remain there it's you know it's um non-seasonal a store it all whether whether i during lockdown or out of lockdown costco remains because you, as you can see a lot of stuff that you you need for your household for daily um you know this is cream you know um beauty skincare and all that so yeah it's a great website and it's a great business and costco is doing well even on a um, stock level you can also look at the uh i mean they have they have uh the pharmacy optical services photo travel uh grocery you know as i said so you can come up to their website um uh, check stuff around but for the purpose of this um video we will look at the uh investor relation where we'll find the um the q1 2023 earnings I actually have opened that already and here it is here we have um overview company profile you know um cookies setting that's for my um for the website so here is the report costco all sale corporation report first quarter physical 20 uh fiscal year 2023 operating result on the uh, on the 8th of uh, december 2012. um it's Globe News, Costco also corporation. Uh, these are the company information. Net sale for the first quarter increased 8.1 percent to 53.44 billion from 49.42 billion last year. Uh, you can understand why you uh, compare last year and this year. This is to show the difference that this year is better or last year is better. You know, so that's why you see the comparison often on most of this uh, stuff that we analyze here is a different thing here is a table to say us canada other international total company so here it's it's a more inclusive uh, um, breakdown or exclusive you know 12 weeks um 12 weeks here 12 weeks and this is adjusted this is this should be non-adjusted so excluding the impact from changes in gasoline prices and foreign exchange net income for the quarter was 1.364 million three dollar seven cent per diluted share compared to one dollar uh, 1.324 million which is two dollar 98 per diluted share last year so this year is uh, slightly better uh this year result included charge of like three million pre-tax which is a uh, 0.15 percent per diluted share primarily related to downsizing our charter shipping activities and the tax benefit of 53 million 0.12 uh, per diluted share related to stock based compensation last year result included a write-off of a uh, of certain information technology asset of 118 million pre-tax 0.20 20 per diluted share and tax benefit of 91 million which is 0.21 per diluted share related to stock based compensation costco currently operate 847 warehouses including 583 in the u.s state and puerto rico 107 and in canada 40 in mexico 31 oh yeah uh, 31 in japan 29 in united kingdom 18 in korea uh, 14 in Taiwan, 14 in Australia, 4 in Spain, 2 each in France and, and China, and 1 each in Iceland, New Zealand, and Sweden. Costco also operates e-commerce sites in the U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom, Mexico, Korea, Taiwan, and Taiwan, Japan, and Australia. A conference call to discuss these results is scheduled for 2 p.m. Uh, December 8, 2022, and is available via uh, the webcast on their website um, certain statement contained in the document constitute forward-looking statement with the meaning of private security and securities uh, litigation reforms of 1995 let's go straight down to the nitty-gritty the, the numbers I call that the nitty-gritty 
And here, Costco also Corporation Consolidated Statement of Income. Dollars a million except per share data unaudited. So here you have it uh, 12 weeks ended in November 2022 and November 2021. Just to compare with each other. Revenue, net sale. Here you have 53 million 437 for 2022, where you have 49 million 417. So it's slightly uh, better in 2022. Uh, membership, you have 1000 here. Here you have 946. Total revenue, you have 54. Here is 50. Operating expenses. Operating expenses. Under operating expenses, you have merchandise cost. Here you have a 47.769 million. Uh, of, um, yeah, so here you have 43.952. Operating income, as you can see. Uh, interest expense. Let's have a look at the uh, where we see the total liability and a free uh, cash or um, cash at the end of um, uh, this uh, period. Net income per common share attributable to Costco. Basic dilute. This is basic and the diluted. On, on, under the basic, you have three dollar zero seven uh, cent for this for twenty twenty two and twenty twenty one is two dollar ninety nine. Shares used in calculations. Okay, this is the as the formula. Um, Costco also corporation consolidated balance sheet under the balance sheet here. Yeah. Uh, subject to reclassification, current asset uh, cash and cash equivalent. Cash and cash equivalent at the end of uh, November. 2022, uh, you have 10 million 856. Where you have uh, this same period, or oh, okay, as of August, you have 10 million 203. Um, total assets as of this period, total asset, which is um, what we have here, total under the uh, total liability, total asset is three uh, 666 while 64 million. 66 million zero two seven sixty four million one six six current liability this is under liabilities and equity so under the current liability total liability yes total liability is what i wanted to see total liability here is a uh, of 44 44 million five hundred fifty one slightly higher than the other period of um, 43 million five hundred and nineteen commercial and contingencies equity you can also look at these details. I, I, I want us to look at the cash and cash equivalent and free uh, cash flow if it's uh, stated. Uh, total equity, as we as you can see, 21 million 476, 20 million 647. Uh, total liability and equity. So you have it here 66 and you have it here 64. I stated uh, upper. So yeah, uh, these are the um, details you can um, uh, available here now but you can actually go further from this by actually um let's say you you download this this link it is downloadable you might find more information on it as you can see costco also commercial report for first quarter fiscal 2023 so here you will have more information which is also similar to what we have just read but you can go through it on a um, on a more detail, but it's the same thing there. So you can also print out this if you want to, you know, uh, have a look at it in your own time. Maybe while while relaxing in your um, on your living room or in, in your office. But for the purpose of this video, let's move on to um, the technical chart. This is technical chart. Here we have a weekly um, weekly chart for Costco, as you can see. Um, let's start with the, the market capitalization is 203.32 billion. The shares in float is 438.2 four, four million. Shares outstanding is 442.6 million. The EPS rating is 87. Um, the EPS growth rate is 18%. The P ratio is 35. Um, five year P range is 27 to 48. Cash flow is $13.06. As you can see, uh, the uh, past EPS to present, Costco has always been a, a positive business, a, a positive stock. As you can see, uh, it, it has always been positive. And even uh, the estimate for 2023 that is uh, a little bit 
you can see this red but it's far more when you see the, the numbers it's it's uh it's more or less a positive here we have um the market is still open and it's currently trading at 458 dollars 76 cent the 52 weeks high is 612 while the 52 weeks low is 406 so costco is currently trading minus 25 percent of its 52 weeks high let's have a look at uh the ownership details owners and fund you have funds own 35 percent banks own two percent let's have a look at checklist under uh, benjamin grams benjamin grams you can see nine out of 13. uh warren buffett warren buffett is 13 out of 16. uh peter lynch peter lynch is five out of eight let's have a look at uh technical under technical we have uh 10 weeks it is currently trading under uh, below 10 weeks moving average and below 40 weeks moving average the 10 weeks moving average is the red line and, and 40 weeks moving average is the black uh, uh line which is the this is the 10 weeks and this is the, uh, 40 weeks so it's currently trading below this 10 weeks but then as you can see uh we actually have a uh, a support here which is more of a channel which is this trading in between this uh, channel we will say in fact i can actually draw it apart like this so we can say it it, it, it broke this level of um uh, support here and this support uh, the support became resistance you know here down again uh, another level of support which is also here so um the way it's looking uh just like many other stock uh, uh, as from uh, last week that the, the Fed increased by um, the uh, interest rate by, by uh, five, uh, uh, 0 0.5 uh, basis, but then all stocks have been trending down just like, uh, as we can see for uh, Costco as well. But then uh, before now, uh, Costco appears to be more on a bullish move, you know, f f um, throughout this year or for some time. Let's have a look at it on a daily chart. Daily chart will give us more uh, picture on a Costco. Um, here you have it, the same level of uh, support there and the level of resistance that was broken, you know. Um, but for then, you also have it here. So it, it has been um, within this channel, then he broke the level of um, support here then it more or less uh sideways it, it, it has been sideways for um for some time for you know some weeks or it has been within this um, channel but as we can see it is more of bearish move now it is currently trading below uh, 15 weeks um 15 days moving average and 50 day moving average in fact 50 day um moving average 15 day moving average have crossed over the 50 day moving average going down so uh guys this might just be a good time to see or you might just have a uh, look at it again do your valuation this might be a good time to actually add to your position on a uh, costco i don't think a costco is a stock that you would uh regret this may actually give you an opportunity but then guys do your valuation do not just take my word do not just say because i said this on on this uh, video and you are now uh, jump on uh, costco be sure that uh, costco uh, is a uh, fit within your own uh, idea of investment you know you don't have to buy every every stock we analyze on this channel you have seen the details of the earnings of the q1 2023 earnings of costco you have seen that their e-commerce business is a little bit slower compared to the in-store and you have seen everything about Costco, so you know what they do now. We have also checked the technical chart and have seen that it is bullish, you know. However, not every stock that is bullish. Or you wonder, okay, this stock has remained bullish. Is it time to buy now? Am I supposed to have more to my portfolio? Is it coming down? I can tell you this. Costco is one of those companies that, you know, I've owned for quite some time. Um, yes. You will find that uh, stocks come down, they go up, they come down, you know. When you think or when you see on a technical chart that it's breathing in before it breathes out, that's, that will be a good time to buy. Now might just be a good time to buy as well, you know, but Costco is one of those stocks that you shouldn't really 
bother too much about it. if you haven't if you don't have it at all it's a different thing but if you already own it I mean you can add a couple of more to your um, position you it should be fine with Costco thank you for watching this channel please as we always say do your valuation make sure you don't just jump on stocks to buy because you have watched your YouTube channel do your valuation have a metric have a way of valuing your stock you know we will also do some programs you know to teach you how to how we do our valuation but we, we also don't want to recommend to you that you should do this so that you don't come up to us and say oh, we ask you to do this because stocks uh, investing is personal to an extent thank you and we continue to produce content that will support your investment journey please call again